Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mike Levitsky, and uh, some one more Steve Gadd thing from the Basic Paradigm Group. Uh, again, I'll put the link down in the description so you can check out the score there on uh, Drummer World's website. There's a video there of Steve playing. So let's take a look at it. Uh, go ahead, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to me playing it a bunch of times, fast and then slow and then medium and then really slow. So if you don't want to listen to me talk, you can go ahead and click down there and do that. And you can play along with that video so you can get your sticking together. Click on that other video to hear the lick uh, a few times. Uh, basically it sounds like this. Uh, that's, that's the lick. Really cool, really fun. It has this real nice flow to it. Uh, I think it's the exact same like Drummer World used to use as like the beginning or intro or opening of all their their uh, videos. This little lick that Steve played, and I think it's this lick. I'd have to go back and look, but I think it's this with him doing it on one click or something really close to this. So it's something like uh, it's something like that. thing down for you. Uh, it, it starts on the, uh, the E of beat 2. So, and it's going to be a diddle or a double, whatever you want to call it, with your left hand. So you play any groove that you want. Uh, you know, we'll play one in, in the Steve Gadd style because we're just doing that and I have the transcription here in front of me. So it's something like... Uh... Now after that, it's 4 E. So to find what that is, it's a 30 second note that's going to fit in there. So if we break down 4 E and uh, uh, you can kind of get your hands to uh, hear where that is. If we put a diddle on uh, the E, so we're going to go 4 E and uh, but we're going to double the left hand. 4, uh, four E and uh. Okay, so it's 4 E and uh, so 4 E and uh. Once you can do that, we start to add in the other elements. The other elements are an open hi-hat on the AND of 4. So now we're going to have 4 E AND A, 4 E AND A, 4 E AND A. And then uh, uh also becomes a 30 second note. So now the rhythm is going to be... But it's broken up between the snare and the hi-hat. If I play the whole thing on the snare, you'll hear this. So it'd be flam, left, left, right, left, right. Then we're going to put that between the hi-hat and the snare. Alright? And we add that open hi-hat on the end of four. Now, just to get more used to it, I don't know if I would practice this a lot, because it just stops, and in the lick, it's actually a diddle that's played, starting on the right hand. So, uh, something that you may want to start doing is practicing playing diddles um, on the E and the uh instead of on the downbeat. Meaning, instead of going right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, start on the right hand, go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 right. Uh, Check out my upcoming Chops for Lunch. Uh, video on uh, a great doubles exercise using this concept. Uh, I'll put a link to it like right here as soon as I have it finished you can click right in here and it'll take you to that video to work on this double thing. So we have together, left, left, right, left, right, right and that's gonna bring us into the next section. Now this, I actually did a video a while back, I think it was on my uh, 30 second note fill video where I talked about this little lick that I saw Dennis Chambers do and that was this thing uh, So it's this kind of left-left uh, kick-kick, but it starts uh, one 30-second note over, so it ends on a downbeat. 
Now that's exactly what Steve is doing here. So he's starting this little kind of uh, phrase of notes that's left, right, right, left, left, kick, kick. Now, if you've studied any other Steve Gadd stuff, you know he loves to use paradiddles and, and doubles. You know, there's that other famous beat that I didn't put a video up of it because there's so many of them out there, but this one. Okay, and the sticking on that, um, if you look at it, it's just, it starts with And then you uh, kind of move it over one. Right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, 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 right. You place one of the right hands with the right foot, and you get. And then you separate the right foot and the right hand. This, as you can see, is a, just a piece of that stuck into the middle of this groove. Left, right, right, left, left. After we go, and then we do that, left, right, right, left, left, kick, kick. Then the end of the groove is super easy. It's just, uh, we have coming out of that right, left, left, kick, kick, and then snare, hat, kick, hat, snare, kick. And we get that, I guess I don't have to sing it, I have a drum set in front of me, uh, which sounds like this. Okay, so all together. Hey guys, I hope that helps you out. Uh, have a ton of fun playing with this stuff. Uh, leave me a comment. Be sure to like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff or other stuff. Uh, I'm always open to take video requests, and uh, you know I'd love to do that. I do this really for you guys, and and because it's fun for me to play, uh, and this keeps me practicing, keeps me on my toes. So uh, I will see you guys in the next one, and um, bye. I guess yeah. See ya. This is weird. This is always, uh, this is always awkward. The ending. <sighs> the ending is always weird. <laughs>